Be'ur Mishnah Dalet. We're going to continue to try to understand what's going on over here. Now, Mishnah is going to continue to teach us what is going on with this Kohanim. What's, what, what, what? Now you're going to see why they, why they actually let them go. If they not actually let them go. According to some opinion, they're not obligated in giving. That's why they let them go. If they would be obligated according to all opinion, they would come in and grab. But there's an opinion that they're not obligated. So it's because I of that. Say they were. For my that they're, they're, not they're, they're not obligated. We're going to see. So let, let, let's see with, with the verses. We see which one is going to make more sense. Amar Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda said, Heid ben Bochri be Yavne, that ben Bochri in Yavne, he made, gave a testimony. And testimony was like this. This is what he says. Kol kohen sheshokel, shenoten machatzit shekel eino chote. Listen to what he says. If the kohen gives the half a shekel, he's allowed to give. It's not a sin. No. It's not a sin to give. From this word, it looks like, first of all, that he doesn't need to. And second of all, we need to understand what's the problem in him giving. Yeah? So we, two problems we have. Kluma. So this is what he says. Afal pishe no chayav lishkol, even though he's not required to actually pay. Ve'im shukel, hareu kenoten shiklo nedava. Here comes the problem. And if he gives, it's not considered to be machatit shekel. It's considered to be what? Just a charity. But where is it going to? Oh, it's going to the Kabbalah. Now you have a problem. It's, it's supposed to go to the charity. Uh, oh, so, so how can he say it's in Enochote? So how come he says Enochote? It is a sin. You miss, you, you, you miss allotting the, the funds. Venibta'u karbanot sibur ba'im min idvata yachid. He's not required. It's like asking a person to give a sacrifice for the congregation. You're not allowed to. Right? You're not allowed to. It's a sacrifice from the congregation. It has to be allotted to the congregation. Over here, He's not required to. Mikol makom no chote. He says, nevertheless, it's not considered a sin. That's why. In other words, according to him, he's not required to give. But if he gave, it's okay. We let him give over here. Why? Lefisha kohen moseret shiklo letzibur b'matana gemora. It says because he didn't give it like you think. When he the kohen gives it, he gives. The, he says, I want to give this to the congregation. He gives the whole coin. It's not mine. I've got no part in it. In other words, when you bring the sacrifice, you're not bringing my sacrifice. I gave you money, go buy with it food. You're eating the food. It's not for me. I'm giving you a present. In other words, I don't have a share in it. The, when the coin gives the money for it... He doesn't give it to the coin. He gives it to... The congregation. I'm donating it to the people. The people can do with it whatever they want. Yeah, in other, and the people use it for the korbanot. So I want to give it. I want to be part of that also. Since I'm not obligated, I don't have the obligation. I'm giving the whole coin to the people. Let the people buy korbanot yeah, with it. Give it to the korbanot, give it to the tzibur. That's right. That's the, that's, the, that's the thing. Because otherwise, if he's part of it, he's not obligated. It's like he's it's an individual korban. You're not allowed to bring an individual together with the congregation. So this way, all the, the sacrifice belongs to the congregation, doesn't belong to him at all. He gave the money to the congregation. So this is according to the first opinion. So this opinion says that he doesn't need to give at all, right? Yeah. And even when he gives, he doesn't give. It's not, it, he's yeah, he's he not part of the sacrifice. Okay. Amar lo Rabban Yochanan ben Zakai. So Rabban Yochanan ben Zakai is going to argue with him with Ben Bukhri, he says, not, you're completely wrong. Why are you saying that he's not obligated? Obviously he's only obligated. Amalur, Ben Bukhri, told to Ben Bukhri, lo? He says, no, ki, en adavar kach, it is not so. Ela kol kohen she'eno shokel chote. If he doesn't give, then he's a sinner. In other words, every kohen, is obligated to give also machatit a shekel. She'af a kohanim chayavim b'machatit a shekel. That also the kohanim are obligated to bring half a shekel. Ela, 
He says, so what's the problem? Shoakoanim dorshim mikraze le'atzman. He says, I'll tell you what the problem is. The Kohanim have a way of learning one of the verses in a controversial manner. Let's see. There's a controversial verse that the Kohanim can, can learn differently. They, they try to learn this verse differently. What's the verse? They try to learn it to support their opinion. It says, Kol minchat kohen kalil tihiye lo tochal. So we, we know the sacrifices that he used to bring, the regular sacrifices. But there used to be every day also a special sacrifice that was brought every day only for the kohanim. The kohanim would bring it only for the kohanim. Yeah? For the sacrifice. Just like the tamid. Yeah? So it would be tamid for kohanim. Almost like. Yeah? The kohanim. Put. But there was a problem with when you bring a sacrifice for the Kohanim now, who's going to eat it? The Kohanim. But you cannot eat your own sacrifice. Then you get, you're getting benefit of it, out of it. Oh. See, when you bring a sacrifice, part of it God takes, it, and, I, I, and, and part of it I elevate. But when I bring, who's going to elevate it? So it says, this, this mincha, this sacrifice, used to be completely burnt. Everything goes to God. The whole, the whole sacrifice goes to God. So it says, Kol minchat kohen kalil tiye loto achel. So all this sacrifice was completely sacrificed on the altar. Mincha shevi kohen, this minchat kohen that the kohen brought, harei nisrefet kula. This whole thing gets burnt. Ve lo nechal mimena klum. And nothing was eaten for it. Ve mikan dorshim kohanim. And from here the kohanim are going to learn something. It says, ah, if that is true, then what? So it says, look at what's going on. We've got Omer. The Omer is brought from Korban Tzibur, from the money of the congregation. The bread, the show bread, is also brought for congregation money. Yeah? And uh, Shavuot also brought from congregation money. The bread for Shavuot also brought congregation money. All these sacrifices comes from the money of the congregation. And who eats them? The Kohanim. The Kohanim. Oh. Now, if you're saying that you're taking our coins, if you're, taking, if you're saying you're taking our, our coins, we cannot eat the, the regular sacrifices, the Tamid sacrifices. Because when we bring a sacrifice, we, we have part in it, therefore we're not allowed to eat it. So according to you, what? We're not allowed to eat ev everything? So therefore, that's a proof that we don't give it. That's a proof that we don't give it to the shekel. That, that's the way the, the, the Kohanim want to learn this verse. Shelanu, sheyesh lanu chelek ba limadik shenertnu. We have a part through the shkalim that we have. He'ach ne'echalim. So if we have to give this sacrifice, also machetit the shekel, for the tamid, we, then we won't be able to eat them. And you know, and I, I know, the Kohanim says that we do eat them. So therefore, it means that we don't give the Machatita Shekel for the Tamid. How are we going to be able to eat them? Why can't the Kohanim, when you bring the Korban Kali, the two sacrifice before, give some to Israel, to He's not allowed to. It's a sacrifice, not allowed to. Only Kohanim. His part, not the part that... Everybody gets his part. There's a certain portion that has to be eaten by the Mizbeach, a certain portion that the person eats, the person, a certain portion that you eat. So they burn it completely because they it, can't give it to anybody else? Nobody, even they can eat it. it, it. Not only nobody, even they're not allowed to eat it. So over here says, according to this, according to your system that we give in the Tamid, we wouldn't be able to eat the Tamid. And you know that we eat the Tamid. So what, what are you talking about? Now we have to burn everything over there on the Mizbeach. So therefore, since we eat the sacrifices, this is the proof, that we're not obligated in the... They're not allowed because they won't be able to do the work. That's right. The fact that we are, God told us to eat it means that we don't have to give the shekel. And we're not considered to be part of this menachot. 
Beram. So this is what the Kohanim used to go. Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai knew this. And he, say, and he was against the Kohanim. He says, no, I learn it in a different manner. Let's see how Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai says. Beram, Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai used to say, Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai used to say on this verse, he used to teach it differently. It says, Kohanim, you're just using the verse because you don't want to pay. But that's not what the verse says. That's not what it means. It says, when do you burn it? When it only belongs to the Kohanim. Only to the Kohanim. Then you burn it. But it belongs to Kohanim and Israel. Then you don't burn the whole thing. But in a congregational, which means everybody, the entire nation is bringing it. Even though you're part of it, you know when you burn the whole thing, but it only belongs to the Kohanim. Then you burn it. But over here it does it belongs to the whole nation, not only to the Kohanim. Therefore, as when it's part of the whole nation, you don't have to burn it. Then you can eat it. And the halacha is, Rabbi Yachan ben Zakai says, Shekohanim chayavim liten machatit ha-shekel. That the Kohanim has to give machatit ha-shekel. But still, since the Kohanim are adamant that this verse means that, I think they are right. Yeah, that the Kohanim says that this verse means that, It makes sense. Ela she'en memashkenim otam kmo shenel alal. So he says, you don't fight with them because they've got something to rely on. They've got something to rely on, so don't fight too much. When it comes to Kohanim, it's kind of a mess. Whoever want to give, he gives. He doesn't want, in a way. Yeah. No. It, it, practically, if every religious coin would give. Coin is a, a dogma. Yeah. Every, everybody would give. Practically, they, they gave. They did. Yeah, they did. The thing is that um, if one decided to go crazy and not give, you couldn't go and take his possession. That's the only thing. <laughs>